Okay, because sensory combat can be a, a useful technique in um, overcoming the, the urge to self-injure. I want to give you a few ideas, uh, to, tools to put in your toolbox to help you to overcome those urges as they emerge. And the first would be squeezing an ice cube. Think about how cold an ice cube can be in your hand. But if you have an urge to cut yourself and you hold an ice cube, hold it as long as you possibly can, that is going to help you to focus more on the, the pain that, that, that you're going to be feeling from that in just a few seconds and uh, help, help to um, give you some time to be able to uh, get past the urge to injure yourself. Another tool would be to taste or bite something with a very strong unpleasant flavor. I'm thinking of things like a lime or a lemon or a chili pepper, something very hot, something very spicy maybe taking a taste of horseradish. That should definitely bring tears to your eyes. Um, these are sensory stimulators that will take your attention away from the urge to injure yourself for the moment. And hopefully, um, I want to also encourage you to perhaps add two or three of these together and uh, chain them, as we call, as we say, chaining um, the sensory responses may be useful to add up to 15 or 20 minutes. Generally, if you give yourself 15 or 20 minutes of a distraction like this, you will be able to overcome the urge, and then you repeat that the next time it occurs. Another idea is to take a cold shower. Again, the idea is to completely distract you and to completely uh, change your and alter your emotions and your feelings. Um, another idea would be to take Icy Hot or um, one of these very stimulating muscle relaxant uh, gels that are on the market and just put a tad of that under your nose right here. And that very strong smell and the burning sensation that you will experience from that will not hurt you, but it will definitely distract you for a period of time. That, that smell and, and sting can last for up to 15 or 20 minutes. So again, use a very small amount of that. Another idea would be to place a very small amount of icy hot on the area that you are intending to injure. For example, on your wrist, or on your legs, or on your abdomen. And just rub that in and, and allow that to uh, penetrate the skin and just focus on that feeling. So those are just a few of the sensory combat uh, tools that we have in the toolbox for you today.